Is the age of room temperature superconductors finally here? A bombshell discovery in a South Korean lab is sending shockwaves through physics. Hailed as the breakthrough of the century, this mysterious material called LK99 could transform computing, transportation and energy. But is it too good to be true? Claims are unverified, experts doubtful and replication struggling. Today we'll separate hype from reality. Explore how LK99 could change the future if proven, and whether this superconductor lives up to its promises. You don't want to miss this, let's dive in. Superconductors are materials that can conduct electricity with zero resistance when cooled below a certain temperature. In normal conductors like copper, resistance causes energy to be lost as heat. But in superconductors, the resistance completely drops to zero when cooled to their critical temperature. This enables the lossless transmission of electricity. The holy grail is finding a material that can superconduct at room temperature. This would enable revolutionary advances in technology, since superconductors could be used without expensive cooling. But so far, the highest temperature reached is still extremely cold compared to room temperature. If the claims about LK99 are true, it would be the first room temperature superconductor ever discovered. In July 2023, a team of researchers in South Korea published papers announcing the discovery of a new material they call LK99. They claim this copper-doped lead compound superconducts at room temperature and normal pressure. The researchers say LK99 could mark a new era for humankind and open the door to unbelievable advancements. The lead authors are Hyuntak Kim and Sukbai Lee, who say they developed LK99 based on theories from their late professor Tongshik Choi. But the research has not yet been independently verified, and many experts are voicing doubts about the methods and results. So the jury is still out on whether LK99 lives up to the massive hype. If LK99 or any other room temperature superconductor is conclusively proven, it would completely change technology as we know it. Almost anything that uses electricity could become vastly more efficient. Lossless electrical grids could prevent energy waste during transmission. Maglev trains could zip around thanks to superconductor levitation. MRI machines and particle accelerators could run far more powerful. Computing could become incredibly fast with zero resistance processors, and new applications not even conceived yet could also be developed. The potential impact is almost unimaginably huge. It could be one of the most significant discoveries ever in physics and material science. With a discovery this potentially massive, the scientific community is rightly responding with skepticism. Researchers are working urgently to try to independently verify the claims, but many experts have raised concerns about inconsistencies in the data questionable experimental methods, lack of peer review, and missing key tests. For example, the preprints make imprecise claims about zero resistance that don't definitively show it's a perfect conductor. And there's no evidence of the specific heat anomaly that would confirm superconductivity. The levitation observed also seems more consistent with plain diamagnetism, not the Meissner effect. While a room temperature superconductor would be revolutionary if proven, Extraordinary claims require extraordinary evidence. More rigorous reproducible data is needed before celebrations begin. With such groundbreaking claims, independent verification is crucial. Labs around the world are urgently working to replicate the LK99 results. So what have we seen so far? The evidence remains inconclusive, with some promising hints but no slam dunk confirmations yet. Chinese researchers posted a video of an LK99 sample levitating which they say proves superconductivity. But can we trust this video evidence? More rigorous data is still needed. Major players like Argonne National Lab and Nanjing University are still testing LK99 samples. For now, there are conflicting preliminary reports, some promising, some negative. Replication is no easy task though, as small details in material preparation may determine success. Patience and rigor remain key virtues. In the viral video from China, we see a pellet of LK99 partially floating above a magnet. At first glance, this levitation seems to demonstrate the quantum locking effects that verify superconductivity. But can we leap to conclusions based on a short social media video? Does this indisputably prove the Meissner effect is at play? Unfortunately, it's not so simple. The orientation of the magnet is unclear, so we can't confirm that it's levitating regardless of polarity. The effect could result from something more mundane like diamagnetism, which causes levitation in non-superconductors too. While tantalizing, this footage alone does not definitively confirm LK99's purported superpowers, 
We need precise quantitative measurements under rigorous laboratory conditions. What do you think? Does this video sway your assessment one way or another? Beyond the experimentation, theorists around the globe are digging into the physics calculations underpinning LK99. The results are mixed so far. One ARCSIF preprint by Lawrence Berkeley Lab confirmed the predicted electron band structure. This lends credence to the idea that LK99 could enable superconducting pathways under the right conditions. However, another preprint argued the theorized model is flawed and cannot produce superconductivity. So even at the theoretical level, there is debate over LK99's potential. Of course, experimental data will be the ultimate arbiter in time. But for now, the theoretical foundation remains murky, with evidence on both sides. Remember back in 2020, when a supposed nitrogen-based superconductor called red matter was published to great acclaim before being invalidated. Or even more infamously, the rise and fall of Ranga Diaz's supposed discoveries. While we must be cautious, we should not become cynical though. If proven legitimate with rigorous replication, LK99 could be the breakthrough we've long awaited. As Carl Sagan said, extraordinary claims require extraordinary evidence. Let's keep an open but critical mindset as further results emerge. It's fun to speculate about how society could be transformed if the lofty claims about LK99 prove valid. While we await airtight confirmation, let's envision some of the technologies that could emerge from room temperature superconductors like LK99. Vastly more efficient electronics and computing are one possibility, as zero resistance allows lossless power flows in circuits. We could also see major advancements in medical technology, with more powerful MRI scanners for diagnostics. Transportation would be revolutionized as well. Imagine levitating maglev trains zipping from city to city at insane speeds. And in the energy sector, superconducting smart grids would allow renewable sources to be used optimally and prevent any blackouts. The list goes on. There are countless potential applications across industries. Of course, we must walk before we can run and see if the basic superconducting claims hold water first. But the possibilities are incredible if societies gain access to room temperature superconductors. LK99 may or may not fulfill its promise as the long sought after holy grail of superconductors. How will we know for sure? The weeks ahead will be crucial as prestigious institutions attempt to validate or refute the results independently. Peer-reviewed publications would also lend more credibility. We need precise quantitative measurements of electrical resistance, showing definitively whether it drops to true zero. More proof is needed that the levitation arises from the Meissner effect, rather than something else. Of course, if multiple trustworthy sources resoundingly verify the findings, it will be cause for celebration. But extraordinary claims require extraordinary evidence. For now, Cautious optimism and skepticism must coexist as the quest for verification continues. Waiting is the hardest part. And that's all for today. If you're excited about AI innovations and want to stay updated with the latest trends and insights, subscribe and turn on notifications. Remember, AI is not our enemy, but our ally, ushering us into a future of endless possibilities.